It's the drum hang and I'm Chris Smith. Today's record of the day, Miles Davis at the Plug Nickel, Chicago. Now, uh, maybe 10 or so years ago, they came out with a whole box set, CD set of the Miles Davis group at the Plug Nickel. But before they released that, this was the album to get. This is a Japanese uh, pressing, a Japanese release for uh, Sony, CBS Sony. Yeah, uh, so this was released in the mid 70s, but it was the first release of the uh, 1965 recordings from the Plug Nickel, featuring Ron Carter on bass, Herbie Hancock on piano, uh, Wayne Shorter on tenor saxophone, and of course the young, amazing Tony Williams on drums, the great second quintet, right? So to me, this is still the record to get. Uh, the, the audio quality is phenomenal. The pressing is great. You can find it used for not much money. Um, you know, Japanese always put out great vinyl products. This is no exception. So uh, some really, really innovative drumming by Tony Williams uh, on all that plug nickel stuff. So speaking of innovative uh, modern drumming, that gets us today's topic, which is short. It's a short fill, it's a short episode, but it's a very useful one. That is this great Bill Stewart phrase that he plays using groupings of five. So that clip of Bill Stewart is from a great John Gordon alto saxophonist recording and the song is called Camp Out. And I would hear Bill play that phrase, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it, boot it. So it's a grouping of five. He would play it on his toms there. So it's one and, three and, if we're uh, thinking eighth notes. So this is quarter, one, two, three, four, five, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da, ba da. So in a four measure phrase, four four time, four measures, you would play this grouping of five three full times with one extra beat. That one extra beat is the eighth notes and that ends up being four and, which leads you in and out of this phrase remarkably well. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, four and, and you're off. So. Uh, this phrase was also used, uh, coincidentally, by the great Antonio Sanchez in this song. So that's Antonio Sanchez, Did You Get It?, where he's using this Bill Stewart, uh, what I perceive as coming from Bill Stewart at least, lick as a composition, uh, compositional technique which makes it awesome. So that's on his recording Migration, which you got to get that too. So uh, next I'm going to play for you uh, a couple different variations of this grouping of five. I have my little Tama Club Jam mini kit here because I just got it the other day and I can't stop playing it. It's actually incredibly fun, incredibly lightweight. No snare stand needed, no cymbal stand. This is a cymbal arm on the bass drum and uh, it sounds incredible for, for the price. Uh, I bought it for $250. I put new batter heads on and it's like I had to buy the cymbal arm. But other than that, it's incredible for a gigging player, uh, jazz guys who want to just go to a gig, not carry a bunch to take bass snare. So. On this amazing Tama Club Jam mini kit, I'm going to play a couple different variations of this grouping of five. I also wrote them out here. My favorite variations one, two, and three. So you can find uh, the bigger version of this uh, transcription of these variations on my website, chrissmithjazzdrums.com. In the meantime, here's a bunch of these different variations, the five, for you to, to hear and to start practicing. So that's it for today. This is a great fill. Bill Stewart is an amazing drummer. Antonio Sanchez is an amazing drummer. And they wouldn't be here with probably without Tony Williams. So it's all here for you today. Take this grouping of five, Phil, and run with it. Have fun. See you again soon. One, two, three, four, one, two.
one from up to down and from, from down to up uh, changing every eighth note not every eighth note every eighth note grouping sorry I put a bass drum note, eighth note, before the two uh, eighths, so it sounds like this. The third variation, now I'm playing eighth notes for every count. And on the fourth and fifth eighth notes of the grouping, I'm playing doubles on my snare drum. So. Now for my little mini kit here, right hand is on the cymbal, obviously, and my left is on the hi-hat. The way I have it written, uh, on my website is the right hand is on the floor tom, the left is on the high tom. So it has a very melodic thing to it. This actually sounds hip too, just uh, I don't know, it sounds a little more contemporary, a little more, I don't know, drum and bassy shit for lack of a better <laughs> term. Not that bassy, drum and bass. Uh, anyway, here's that, uh, this is the third variation again. Here it is slow to fast and I'll put it in time. with. That's all. <laughs> 